Michael Tanner, when you see someone now coping in their 60s with uh, getting along on a lot less than they had been planning on, uh, how does that strike you? Well, I, I certainly think that we need to do everything we can for people who are retired today or nearing retirement. They've got to get all the Social Security they've been promised, and if we can find a way to augment that, that would be all to the good. Uh, the problem I see it, though, is for the younger workers who are going to be paying in and their rate of return, what they can expect back from Social Security, is not going to be nearly as good as the return that the people who are retired today are getting. Uh, because of the changing demographics that Steve mentioned, uh, younger workers can expect a rate of return of maybe 1.5% on their money, which is far lower than they can get from private investment. And at the same time, we face the problem of what the ent growing entitlement costs are going to do to the overall economy. Uh, even before the bailouts and everything we've been undergoing, the current projection is the growth uh, in federal spending will be 40% of our gross domestic product by the middle of the century. And 28% will be from three programs alone, Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security. If we don't do something to reform those entitlement programs, including Social Security, we're going to wipe out economic growth and just crush young people under a burden of debt. Well, uh, when you use the term rate of return, um, I wonder whether that's really an appropriate term to use when we're talking about Social Security. Isn't it social insurance that the idea, the implied deal, is that someone will pay for you when you retire just as you're paying for someone's benefit now as they're in retirement? Well, it is uh, essentially a transfer program. Uh, I think people think about Social Security, that when you pay your Social Security taxes, somehow that money's put away for your retirement, and, and it's not. It, it is simply a transfer program that essentially taxes young people and gives that money to older people. Uh, but that works very well as long as you have only a few older people and a lot of young people to pay those taxes. You can keep those taxes fairly low. But we're living longer. Uh, we're having fewer babies. That means there are more and more retirees, fewer and fewer workers who have to support them. That means that that tax burden on young people gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And eventually, uh, that tax burden is going to tell on the economy and on young workers.